stars massive balls of gases that emit light and are held by their own gravity and internal pressure night luminaries are the main bodies in the universe since they contain the bulk of the radiating matter in nature the main role in the color of stars is played by their surface temperature the higher it is the more blue the star has and at lower it is red our sun has a temperature of about 6000 kelvin and its spectrum belongs to the G2 class, these are the white lights. Although stars come in many colors, white or reddish ones are best seen by the eye. But in the pictures, orange and blue are added here, but there are no green lights in nature. When observing close binary stars, you can see such a shade because it's an optical illusion. If you ask thousands of people, for sure someone will tell you that some stars begin to appear green. If a star emits a lot of green, such as the sun, then it emits a lot of yellow around and lots of light blue. All then in our brain, it averages out and gives us such a white yellow color, the color of the sun. Another thing is that, it is easier for us to identify small differences in colors. When observing objects with similar colors nearby, and when observing binary stars with the telescope. Very often many people, for example, such a pair as Albiria, one star starts seem greenish, and it's generally okay to say that it's an optical illusion. But this is the effect of our color perception, the temperature of the star is what it is. Further our eye and our brain completes this picture. Modern science tells us that our color perception system has evolved and formed in such a way to respond to subtle changes in the color. So we evolved to perceive more color information about each other.